Hello, I am right. Ramanga wa ishire na umwa ome. Ame enso ya sambira kumutengo. Hello, I am right. We should have the feeling we know. Oh, my, we have to know we are around the field. Chicken and chips is how much? 150. Give us two portions. In Swiss, but we should know more. No, 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 Chicken and chips, how much? 150. No, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, on your marks, get set, ready. Let's go. It has been mentioned a lot of times that life is a race. On the contrary, what is never mentioned is how on this particular race, that often we do not start off on the same mark and not always with the same coaches or with the same facilities. But there's one thing I've learned from this queen, my mother, the uncanny ability to create something beautiful out of nothing from leftovers to a beautiful five-star meal from baggy clothes into a slim fit attire and sometimes just from a tiny misunderstanding into a big family meeting with accusations of attempted murder and the list is endless so for, for whatever it takes Wherever you're from tonight, it could be a place of tears, we'll turn them into tiaras, taboos into teachings, shame into wings for us to fly without restriction, pain into promises, and deception and despair into dignity. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready tonight? Thank you. Did you ever think that I'm going to get some of the people? Yeah, I wonder if you have an inch top. Okay, so that was a, a wonderful poem, right? Because I remember during my time, Mama Poem, the Gwadi Abarin Sungwa Parangi. My name is Karat Ketapa. I'm going to give you a poem entitled Mother. Mother, mother, mother is cooking me Shima. Shima is there in the you. Thank you. The director, Vision Zambia, to come and welcome the guest of honor as well as welcome us officially to this particular function. The director, Vision Zambia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'd like to first of all say thank you for coming to be with us today. Allow me to take off. I'd like you to look at my beautiful smile. I'm very grateful that you came to be with us today. I would like to specifically say thank you to the Kita District Education Board Secretary, Ms. Mr. Chris Nyungila. We are grateful that you made it to be with us tonight. I would also like to extend um, a warm welcome to aspiring um, candidate for Kampisa constituency, Mr. Van Mumba. Thank you for being with us, sir. And uh, to everyone of you that is here, the members of uh, the media, my team, uh, Care for Nature Executive Director, uh, Zambia Women in, Mark in Mining, I beg your pardon, everybody that's here, I'd like to say you are welcome. Please feel at home. Let's put our voices together as um, we put some dignity back in the lives of the girls. I would like to actually start by thanking the Debs for having found time to come to this uh, particular function. And I would also like to say thank you to the chief organizer for this particular function, for having extended an invitation to me and my team that makes sense productions. Well, my points tonight are very, very few. My first point uh, goes out to all the men who are in this house, that as men, we need to stand out and break taboos. We need to stand out and support the Dignity Campaign. And I think as we go out, we need to go and preach 
that the Dignit campaign is not only for the girl child, but it's also for the boy child, so that one day it grows into being a very responsible man and support the cause. Then the second point is an encouragement to all of us that such initiatives we should be free to come on board and support. We should be free to come on board and give all whatever we can so that we make such events a success. So thank you very much for having offered me an opportunity to speak and God bless you. God bless the public of Zambia. Thank you. Thank you. The teacher, before the, the guest of honor, when he speaks, no one else speaks. The teacher online. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Chipo Juwake. I'm a teacher in um, Mpongwe district of the Copper Belt. And uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for not being at the event. This is due to circumstances beyond my control, but I would have loved to be a part of the evening. However, we're still going to put the message across. Second of all, I'd like to thank Vision Zambia Initiative for this very noble cause that they have come up with. I'd like to thank the Executive Director, Namitula Sindila, with her team for this uh, initiative that they are calling uh, the Dignity Campaign. Um, first of all, I would like to uh, uh, make mention to the House that working from the rural areas, uh, I have had a privilege of seeing how these girls drop out of school. So we have a higher number of boys, uh, girls dropping out of school than we have boys. And uh, a check has shown that amongst many other reasons, menstrual hygiene is one of the major reasons that these girls are dropping out of school because of the poverty levels that uh, some of uh, these families or most of our fa the families are going through. So to buy sanitary pads for a girl child is like a luxury expense which these families can't afford. So usually the best way is for this child to stay at home during that time of the month and probably come back to school when they are no longer on their menstrual uh, period for that particular month. And it disadvantages the girl child because there is an adage that says that you educate a girl child, you educate a nation. So if we're going to educate nations, we need to look at the girl child holistically and how do we keep this child in school. One of the ways of keeping this child in school is helping out with menstrual hygiene. So this uh, cause that uh, we are witnessing today is a very, very noble cause. Not only is it noble, but it is very timely because we are looking at the development of our nation and development, we need everyone on board. We need the girls, we need the boys. Uh, these are the future men and women that will push the wheels of development. So we don't need to leave anyone behind. So because of a menstrual uh, hygiene, it would be unfortunate for us and disastrous if we leave others behind because of that. So today, this cause comes at the right time. And if you are any corporate uh, organization represented here uh, this evening, it is a humble appeal that as you do your social responsibility, please, 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 this is a noble cause. This is a worthy cause. Through helping with uh, supporting the girl child, 
to stay in school. You are actually creating human resource for the future. So we, we really need uh, corporate entities to come on board and help this initiative. We can only do so much as teachers and we can only um, do so much for so many girls but we cannot go it all the way alone. We need people like you to come on board and um, Vision Zambia initiative is a conduit that will help us do this. So it is my humble appeal this evening that all the corporate entities that are represented here tonight would come on board help us help us to keep the girl child in school because if the girl child does not stay in school it means that it will be very difficult for these families to break the cycle of poverty you know somebody said education is a great equalizer there comes a time when education will put everyone at the same level everyone will be at par regardless of your background and some of these children that you we have in these schools this is the only thing they are holding on to it is the only hope that they have for a better future so if they drop out it means they'll still go back in the cycle of, of poverty because if they drop out they'll have nothing to do the next thing will be um, early marriages and from early marriages we know that the ripple reaction comes even from a uh, health perspective those children are not even ready to start producing children no wonder we are having high mortality rates but that aside today we are talking about keeping this child in school this girl child in school among the many challenges that they face from being from um, expected from being expected to perform um, more house chores they have to face even the menstruation period as a hurdle but let us help them that this should not be a hurdle while they are dealing with other things at least menstrual hygiene should not be a hurdle for them if condoms can be given freely please 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 let their sanitary pads be given freely to these children thank you very much for your commitment Thank you very much for your support. All the way from Pamachia, Kumpongwe, Nanda Fuenzo, a teacher, may God bless you online. Allow me at this juncture to invite Namtula Sindila, the Vision Zambia Initiative, to come and do the presentation. I hope I've pronounced correctly. Well, the United Nations International Children's Fund, UNICEF, defines period poverty as a state where women and girls are unable to access adequate sanitary facilities and products to ease their monthly burden. In Zambia alone, an estimated one million girls are affected by period poverty. This results in them missing as much as 46 days in their yearly school calendar and an average of 300 days of their entire academic journey after reaching puberty. At this point, I would like you to keep your eyes on the screen and um, see a little bit of what we've done in the past. Thank you. Thank you. 
Last year, under the Padathon campaign, we distributed 15,000 sanitary towels to underprivileged girls, mainly in examination classes in various communities in Kitwe, Mansa, Mushindamo, and Kanombela. The Dignity campaign was born against the understanding that education and health are both basic human rights and so is a dignified life. It is our hope that we double last year's figures and reach a minimum of 25,000 girls this year, of course with your help. We believe that every girl deserves a dignified life where she is able to live a fulfilling life regardless of her status in society. It's our hope and aim that each and every girl we reach out to has a chance at achieving her dreams, therefore contributing to the development of her community and the country at large because as it is, education is a great equalizer. At this juncture, please allow me to welcome our dates, our guest of honor, Mr. Chris Nyungela. Colleagues, I feel touched. I feel touched up to now after watching that, uh, that clip. Imagine it's your sister in the village. You are not aware that your sister, your niece, is going through that. That is what our girls are going through. Not only in the village, but even within Kitwe. When I came from Northwestern Province, I thought I have come into a city. But last year, when government closed schools for a period of five months because of COVID-19, the district recorded the total number of 265 dropouts of girls who got pregnant. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel honored and privileged to be the guest of honor tonight to grace this important program that will help about 67,000 learners in uh, schools in, uh, in Kitwa District. Until now, the Minister of General Education did not know that uh, the issue of uh, menstrual poverty is one of uh, the program that uh, was one of the issues that attributed to the dropouts of our learners in schools. When I heard about Vision Zambia, I also did my own investigation on the ground and came to discover that the issue of poverty has become the biggest problem in that community. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you may be aware today that education and health in Zambia is a right. If we talk more about education and skip health, then we are killing the development of this country. I will tell you one thing today that um, dismissing a child from school is not as easy as you think. If you go online, I will advise you to read the Education Act of this country. That's when you are going to know that it's not easy to dismiss a child from school, but it's very easy to dismiss a teacher. The officer commanding who is in our midst who agree with me that a girl child in this country is taken as a government trophy. The total number of uh, teachers that have been dismissed from uh, the Ministry of Education for tempering on the government trophy has reached the total number of 17,000. Therefore, may I remind you once more that health and education they are both rights of a girl child. Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest challenge and biggest enemy to this is culture. The way we believe, I'm coming from a royal family and I want to to tell you that we draw our powers from a woman. Therefore, we respect a woman than a man because we know that that's where we get our powers. But it is very rare that a mother of this girl will come out in open and say, this is a challenge that my child is going through. I'm sure you, you've seen that I have a respect of a woman because I'm even failing to mention certain things that are easily said in public. May I take this opportunity to urge Vision Zambia to continue working with uh, the influential people in the community like chiefs, group admin and admin who can work better and campaign better in our own community. Let's not disappear after this because I'll be the saddest person ever before. The way we've started in Solezi, because you should know that Shindamo uh, and Galumbira was one, and I was a district administrative, a administrative officer there. So I don't know about Galumbira and Shindamo. I'm still calling at Solezi. The same drive, the same passion that we have colleagues must go a long way and it's only God that will pay you one day. <clears throat> Let me also take this opportunity to appreciate our mother, the first, the first lady who is the wife to the Republican president for the support that she's giving to a girl child. I stand with her. And let's also say we stand with the First Lady. We stand with the First Lady. 
Hello. We stand with the first lady. Let's all stand with the first lady and help a girl child in education. Before I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, it's my passion to support a girl child. So every every organization that will come on board to support a girl child, I'm here. I'll work with you. I will support you because I know that when a girl child gets educated, you are educating the nation. Before I launch the campaign, because I've said I support a girl child, I have a heart for a girl child. I am going to give you 5,000 kwacha to support this program, but on one condition. <laughs> on one condition that you don't disappear. <coughs> Officer Commanding, I'll be the first complainant. That those people that took us to Shepherd have disappeared. You know, when you have a heart for something, you stand with it. Just the way we've stood with you women, even when you give us pressure. But you've stood with you. So don't expect that you are going to move smoothly. It is a difficult journey. You are going to find people that are against this. Talking about it is a taboo. But you have to keep on. Because your vision is in. The vision, your vision is what? A girl child. Your vision is a girl child. So ladies and gentlemen, shall we help the girl child as we officially launch our 2021 Metro IG management program about dignity and campaign. I thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, on top of the donation that has been given by our debts, the aspiring member of parliament for Kamfisa constituency, Mr. Van Mumba, has pledged a total of 4,000 kwacha towards the same cause. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful.
We can all be blind to the fact that times are changing. And maybe it's time we have certain conversations. Conversations that might be a little bit uncomfortable. Conversations that are not just specific to a group or agenda. In all that we are doing, let us get understanding. And you know, education goes beyond institutions and teachers beyond classrooms. And thank you to our new teachers at Vision Zambia Initiative for teaching us how to understand and to care for our beloved, to see people through the lenses of humanity, and to do for others what we wish others would do for us if we were in a similar situation. You know what they say? The race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. But time and chance happens to us all. And this is our chance, ladies and gentlemen, to impact people's lives for the better. So once again, on your marks, get set, ready, let's do this. Thank you very much at this particular juncture, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to auction this particular beautiful, beautiful lady here. This particular t-shirt. Of course, by Vision Zambia Initiative, the great campaign. All have one, which you would want to give to anyone with money. I'm selling this particular t-shirt at a cost of 50 kwacha. Anyone with a 50 kwacha to give me? Two, three, four, five. Thank you. Anyone with anything above 500? Eh? 600? I come. Oh. <laughs> this beautiful lady from Dollar to Eh? My sister. Eh? Here, there, Pela. I'll give you change. I'll give you change. Ah, yeah. Cameraman, I will move it together. Uh -huh. I'm talking about bless you, my sister. May God grant you the wishes of your heart. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> I wish. Oh, thank you. Yeah. The change, the change is uh, how much? 2,000 kwacha minus 600. My sister, take a year in the MC. I'm a good pair. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Bless you. I'm sure she's going together. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, I'm the director, executive director of Vision Zambia. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my rare privilege and honor to present this nice t-shirt to my brother. You know, this is what we want. 
things that we know that they are not all that expensive. We buy them at that high price because we want to support the program. In every church or every church that I go to, I'm not posting at least I should leave not less than 10,000 kwacha. Because that man there, come. Come, come, come. This man, he knows where I'm coming from. Is from a rich family, I come from a poor family, and I know how poverty is. That's why I said when I watched that movie, I almost cried. Before we call it a night, I uh, want to say a big thank you to our guest of honor, uh, District Education Board Secretary, Mr. Chris Nyongila. We are very grateful that you allowed us into your office and you took time to come and be with us tonight. Um, like the members say, apparently I've been given a member name from Wapula, they call me Chende in Wapula. Um, as the members say, Tuakunkula um, Mkwai. A special thank you also to aspiring um, candidate for Kampisa constituency, Mr. Van Mikmumba, Honorable Tuakunkula. To Mwila, the gentleman that came all the way from uh, Ndola, to come and give us, uh, bless us with his ballads. I say thank you, sir. Thank you so much. My team, Prime Edge, um, the MC Colored, that you. special dance, yeah. and everybody else, members of uh, the media, and everyone, so sounds, everybody just put in um, an effort and bought into this vision. I just want to say thank you so much for all your pledges. Thank you for the support. Thank you so much. When we hear the same call, when the world must come together as one, there are people down here. Thank you. 